Candy's cooking a chef, apparently. You gotta help me. I'm losing my mind. I got this feeling I wanna leave. Ironically, I feel as I'll be able to relate to those lyrics later on in the video. I'm losing my mind. This woman came out of nowhere, and I don't know why. It's like nowadays, you can only make so many shit meals until one of them will eventually blow up. And well, this woman's now making more money than any chef in the country by doing shit like this. So today, guys, we are making cochrane meatballs. We've got onions. Meatballs. I mean, thank f she said something, because that would have been the last thing I'd have guessed that was. It looks like what I imagined AIDS to look like through a magnifying glass. I mean, I can see some meat in there. I'm just not seeing any balls. You know, it comes in handy when you're trying to make meatballs, right? We've got tomatoes. We've got our carrots. And we've got our beef pork mint. This is my first time making this as requested on my cameo to make it for them. Okay, first of all, we can see that this is your first time making this. We can see. <laughs> I figured that one out when you said you're making meatballs and I'm seeing more onions than meat in the pan. Secondly, I don't know what's worse. Hair making this shit or the sad b that's paying her to make this. Someone requested her to make this on a cameo. Not only requested, f***ing paid her. I bet Jamie Oliver and Gordon Ramsay are like, Hello! I just spent my entire life becoming an established chef and you're paying for this? I'm happy that the chefs that I grew up with were actual chefs. Now, kids are growing up with this woman and Kay's cooking. Oh, God. Good luck. I added one egg. I've never made this before, so bear with me. Fuck. No, she just appeared. I've never made this before, so bear with me. <laughs> bear with me. Yeah, I'm gonna try my hardest to bear with you, Candy. Is that her actual name? Candy? We've got our mints. Uh, yeah. Great, she can't even open it. I wonder if the guy who paid for this feels like he's getting his money's worth so far. <laughs> she can't even open the ingredients to even cook it. Well, I wouldn't say cook it, let's be honest. Oh, she hasn't got a fucking clue, has she? I mean, she doesn't need to, clearly. People are paying for it. Heat it up. Did she just... No. What are you doing, you stupid, stupid woman? At the same time, when else is she gonna have raw meat inside of her? You know what I mean? You won't want to wake up the next day to find out you got hair pregnant. Oh, God. I can't believe she's just eating raw mints. How can you call yourself Candy's cooking when you're not even cooking it? It should be Candy's raw, but that just sounds shit. <laughs> You don't just grab a block of raw mince, throw it into a well of oil, and then decide, no, actually, then throw it back onto the kitchen side. <laughs> just what are you doing? Put your onions in. Get out and look. Get in Fuck knows why she needs two full bags of raw onions to make fucking meatballs. I thought meatballs would have been one of the easier ones not to fuck up. I mean, it's in the name, meatballs. I expected her to at least attempt to make somewhat of a ball. Add your egg. Uh, what else was it? Add your mint. I don't think she's quite grasped the idea that you actually need to make the food. I feel as though she just looks at what ingredients you need, throws them into the pan and just expects something magically to happen. <laughs> your meatballs. Hey, you want the mint, thank you. I don't understand what she's achieving from doing this. She's just transferring shit from one place to another place. Look at the fucking state of that. You won't walk into that kitchen, look at that and think, oh, you're cooking meatballs, can't wait. <laughs> she left the stove on whilst pouring a pan full of oil over it. How is this woman still alive? <laughs> what the fuck happened? What, that's it? That's the end of the video? The guy who paid for this bollocks must be fuming. The least she could have done was try and make somewhat of a meatball. He asked for meatballs. Instead, he got hair eating a block of raw mint and a pan full of oil and raw onion. Fucking bargain. <laughs> I need to have a look at this cameo. There's no fucking way this is real. Fuck me, it's real. $45. Are you fucking joking? $45 is taking the piss, in it? She's having your pants down. There's no reason for it to be that much. Reasons to get a video. <laughs> fucking enlighten me. Whether it's a milestone birthday, an anniversary, or a long-awaited reunion, make it unforgettable with a one of a can cameo video from Candy's Cooking. It's giving me ideas, I'm not gonna lie. It would be funny for a birthday present, like a milestone birthday too. I might get one for my mum's 50th. She'd just be like, sir, what you got me? And I'd just be like, this. Smack that bitch. Smack that bitch. 
It'd be even worse when I tell her I paid 45 fucking dollars for it. What's that, like 35 quid? It'd be funny though, but there's no way I paid 35 fucking quid for it. I'm too tight. You'll have the chance to customize your request for Candy's cooking, like asking them to mention inside jokes, share words of wisdom, or work in their signature catchphrases. Don't be afraid to get creative with your requests, especially for celebrations like weddings, retirements, or bachelor and bachelorette parties that call for a good laugh. What a way that would be to ruin someone's wedding day. I think if I was someone's best man, that's exactly what I'd do, 100%. No matter the occasion, the video will be yours to keep. Share the fun and relive the moment for years to come. Relive the moment for years to come, Jesus. She's really selling you this one, isn't she? What are the reviews saying? Honestly, the best cameo I've ever received. <sighs> Candy did a phenomenal job. We got the video very fast and she did a great job customizing it. I just don't understand. Am I just watching the worst of this woman or something? Why are the reviews talking about where like she doesn't eat raw meat? Thank you, Candy. It's everything I wanted for a video. Really appreciate you taking the time to do this. Keep being you. You're amazing. Okay, we're watching another video because I'm not having this. <laughs> it was everything they ever wanted for a video. Okay, let's see. Hi guys, today we are making beef pie to save up the neighbour. Right, okay, so far so good. She's making a neighbour a beef pie. Now what's the catch? Because I know it's fucking coming. So we've got our pastry. Ideally don't use your mouth if it's for your fucking neighbour. <laughs> Why is she wearing gloves like she's ready to make a fucking snowman and not a pie? To be fair, if she's ever making food for me, I'd prefer her to wear gloves, let's be honest. <laughs> mm. The fuck? <laughs> what have you got for dinner, guys? I'm not telling you. I don't want you to go and make it and put me off it for life. I like beef pie as well, but you never know, this might turn out to be good. I went bought some big chunks of meat today. It was only £1.39, I think. It's not good. It's really not good. <laughs> oh God. Dog food. She's using dog food to make a pie. I don't like pies anymore. It's that simple. I don't want to relive this moment for years to come. I don't. I feel like I've been scammed and I didn't even pay for anything. I've never seen one like this before. You've never seen a dog food pie before? Ah, well, you're just not looking hard enough than I am. I reckon a dog food pie is something you get if you went to watch a Grimsby Town football match or some shit. Yeah. Turn it over. Leave it on for 20 minutes. Yeah, that should do it. 20 minutes sounds about right to warm a tin of dog food up. But this better be for the neighbor's dog. How are you going to explain this to the neighbor? Hello, I've just brought you something. Oh, wow, thank you. What is it? It's my homemade pie. Thank you. I love pie. What pie is it? Dog food. Yeah, I'm not hungry. <laughs> you got to look after your neighbors. Oh, yeah, I'm sure they'll be fucking delighted. It's cooking nicely. Oh, it's Holy shit, imagine the smell coming from that oven. Woo! Should have got an entire face full of pure ass smoke too. Oh man, I'd have thrown up. That'd have been way too much to deal with. A face full of moist dog food. Nah, I'm good. I'm good. Nearly done. Give it about another five minutes and that'll be done. That is fucking criminal. How are you going to explain to your neighbour that that's a pie? I wouldn't even give your dog that. To be fair, I don't think the dog would fucking take it. Today I'm going to make a casual sandwich. It's not going to be a casual sandwich, is it? I feel as though this is going to be another moment that I don't want to relive forever. So we've got our bread. We've got our bites. Put the bix away, please. You don't need them, you're making a sandwich. I'm not doing this, please don't do this. <laughs> She's opening the wee bit. No, she might just be having them on the side. I'm overthinking it. I'm overthinking it. It's going to be okay. It's going to be fine. She's going to go and get the ham or something out in a minute. Watch. You reckon the ball's big enough? Fuck me. Size that fucking thing for a single wee bit. I am meeting somebody, um, I, 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 um... It's okay, take your time, don't panic, say it again in your head, then go for it, you got it. I'm collabing with someone, but they go try my food. I've never, um, done it before. Please be vegan, teacher. I'd pay to watch that. No, I wouldn't. I wouldn't pay to watch that. I'm lying. <laughs> I don't even pay to watch 
Wait, I don't know if I can say that. I'll just bleep it. <laughs> but hair and vegan teacher would be something worth watching. Of course, I'm a bit nervous. Yeah, I'm nervous for them. I hope they don't eat any of your cooking. You'll fucking kill them. Welcome back to another episode of Come Die With Me. But I'm going to be making them a food. You're going to be making them a food. That's not right. You want to try that one again? I've just clocked at what she's doing. Why is she staring Weetabix? I thought she was making a sandwich. Concern is starting to enter my body now. Fear, in fact. I'm not ready for this. So if you come back for part two, then you'll see who I'm collabing with today. I kind of want to know, but I don't. Let's just, let's just see how this one goes first. So let's make my sandwich and make their sandwich. She's like a human hoover. The shit you usually throw away, she just fucking consumes. <laughs> This is making me feel weird. Like, this is wrong on so many levels, but for some reason, I can't take my eyes off it because I can't actually believe what I'm seeing. It looks like shit. Like, why would you do that? I think if I see her eat that, I'm going to throw up. I'm going to be sick. This is the best. I always eat this. Got craving. Mm. <laughs> Oh god, I'm definitely getting some of this for the wedding day. <laughs> Jesus Christ. I just imagined the texture of the witty bix making the bread soggy. Oh god. It's a lot of texture going on right there. Well a book and banana. Yeah, in a sandwich. You can't just move on from the fact it's witty bix and banana in a fucking sandwich. I just feel as though that's a vital bit of information to acknowledge right there. There must be for later. Fuck me, I can't believe she's made some for later. Imagine your mum packed your wheat big sandwiches for your packed lunch at school. This smell it will produce when you open it up. It'll be like someone's throwing a tear gas or some shit. You're just like, sorry, it's my mum's wheat big sandwiches. I told her not to pack me them. <laughs> Come back for part two. There's no part two, by the way. I literally looked everywhere and I couldn't find it. So I'm assuming this collaboration never happened. Or maybe it did and the person made the stupid mistake to actually eat a cooking, so... R.I.P. Hi, guys. Today is 10 a.m. at night and I've got the munchies. 10 a.m. at night and she's got the munchies. Yeah, we all find ourselves having the munchies at 10 a.m. at night. I've got a question. Have you ever considered this? Oh, here we go. What the fuck's this going to be? Cow shit in a wrap or something? Okay, Donna Kebab, another thing that I fucking love. How is she gonna find a way to fuck this one up as well? Beans, beans are good for your heart. By pouring a cold tin of beans on top, of course. That'll do it. What a way to ruin what was once a plate full of flavour and juices. I mean, I suppose it could have been dog food. This is what it's going to. I'm now trying to justify why hair pouring a cold tin of baked beans on top of a kebab isn't as bad. What am I doing? I don't like the person this is turning me into. I don't like the man I'm becoming. Beans, beans are good for your heart. The more you eat, the more you fart. The more you fart, the more you stink. The more you sit in the toilet seat. Fucking hell, she's really embodied the m, &M persona, hasn't she? She's got the look and now she's just spitting all over the kebab and baked beans. If you haven't tried this... We haven't. <sighs> oh. Don't do that. That noise made me feel physically uncomfortable. Then you are missing out. How you been? I was doing great until some of my favourite meals got ruined for life. I might ask for that next time I go and get a kebab or just show them that video. Hello, my friend. What can I get for you? Uh, just a doner kebab, please, mate. Of course, my friend. Salad? Any sauces? Uh, yes, yeah, salad. And I'll just show you, um, that. Uh, this is baked beans, my friend. We cannot do this. Fuck. What about dog food? <laughs> Hello, Stephen. I've been sent a cameo request from your wife, Fiona, to cook you a chicken bone of AIDS. And I'm going to sing you a song, okay? Happy 40th birthday. I hope you have a good one. You see, if I was married and my wife paid that £35 to make me video certified divorce what a waste of money but steven you, you're gonna be in for a treat <laughs>
Happy 40th birthday, Stephen! <laughs> I don't like watching hair sing about gangbangs because my mind instantly goes to hair in a gangbang. I don't know why, but it's not pretty. It looks like that dog food pie earlier. <laughs> Is that beans in the pan? Fucking hell, last time I saw them, there was on top of a doner kebab, so at least to where they belong now. I don't know what she's doing with the pasta. I'm just gonna leave it to it. I can't be asked. <laughs> the what the fuck is that? She's added a brain to the pan. Oh, she's really treating you with this one, Stephen, you lucky man. <laughs> Candy, your trousers are falling down, please realise. Against the wall, I nearly lost my trousers. That's not the fan! Oh god, that was way too close. I bet the wife was watching thinking, what the fuck, I didn't pay for this. <laughs> She's just like, we're having a gang bang! Happy 40th. I would steal you for my husband, but I'm a dyke. Yeah, I gathered that, to be honest. Literally every sign was there. That does not surprise me. Losing my mind. <laughs> See, fucking told you I'd be able to relate to them lyrics. I literally am losing my mind. Bet Liam Pins looking down thinking, thank fuck I got out of there. No, is that too soon? Too soon, innit? Sorry. I got this feeling I wanna leave this world To be fair, it's better than the cooking, isn't it? I'm gonna call it a day there. Fuck me, I thought Kate's cooking was bad. She's 10 times worse. If you wanna see the video that I did on Kate's cooking, just click here. And I can confidently say that I do not wanna relive any of their moments for years to come. So, she's full of shit. Yeah.